All right. Looks like I just took care of that spell punk relatively easy. Okay, so I want to be careful because the platforms, once they start shining, uh, we better get the heck off them. Because then things are going to get bad. And by bad, I mean we fall to our doom. Which we don't want to do, obviously. We want to stay alive. Nice and alive. I do not plan on dying anytime soon. Yes, level up, which gives us all our health back, which is awesome. That's exactly the kind of thing that we could have used right now. And we were rewarded with it. Here comes some of those Mohawk Cyclopses. Oh, God. Come on, little grenade dudes. All right. There's some more of them on this side of the field. So I'm going to make my way here and whoop their butts. Oh, God. Now I'm trapped. I'm trapped on one side, but the enemies are on the other side. Oh, but here comes some enemies to this side as well. Thank God there's no enemies on that side with some long-range weapons. Because that could definitely be problematic and annoying to deal with. If they had some, uh, like, one of those guys who can shoot, you know? That would be very annoying to deal with that. And what kind of a dance floor is this? What kind of dances the they is to have here? Sucky ones, obviously. Here's Brute. All right. Brute is sending more brutal force our way. Get it? Because his name is Brute and I said brutal. Yeah. All right. That's not funny at all. Yay. All right. Man, this dance floor is shifting like crazy. I wonder if I could, like, trick them into falling down uh, one of these uh, things. You know? Like when the pathway is gone or something. Oh, look. If I stay right by his feet, I could do a lot of damage while he's shooting. So that's a good little trick for you guys there. Oh, come on, grenade guys. I can't wait to get my hands on you. Oh, my goodness. I will punish you like crazy. You don't even understand, do you? Wait till that platform comes up. You guys are screwed. Come on, platform. Come back up. Give me a chance to kick their butts. There we go. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Yeah. Didn't think you're so tough when it's up close and personal. All right. Here comes more more enemies more and more this feels a lot like a battle arena challenge in terms of uh you just have to clear a bunch of enemies oh there's a pretzel i want that pretzel give me that pretzel don't you dare to eat my pretzel if one of them ate my pretzel i swear i would kick their butt more so than i usually do anyway here we go let's run into those guys very good you can take any more punishment yes i can let's find out all right aren't you gonna reward me first with some food oh okay now we gotta battle brute himself Oh, it's a very cool looking hat, actually. I kind of like that hat. What the heck? His name is Jawbreaker. He bobs, he weaves. He bobs, we weaves, but also drops his hands. Okay. Okay. What, what's he doing? What's he doing? All right. Here he goes for a big punch. And now we can do some damage here while he's down. Down and out. All right. Let's get him to punch us. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to punch me? Ooh, tacos. Awesome. Very delicious. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I can attack him. Wow, he's down again. That's very good. We did 200 damage there. That's very, very good. If I may say so myself. These armored spell punks are very interesting. We gotta make sure that we don't give them any opportunity to power up any of the other enemies. So we wanna make sure that we take out the punks as well. So that's why I'm kind of focusing my uh, fire on them. As well as all the other guys. But I wanna make sure that I get rid of the other enemies. That way we're not surrounded. And I know we could definitely focus our force on Brute and... Uh, what's his... Brute or Jawbreaker, I guess. I'm not really sure which name he's, uh, he supports. Maybe he's Brute before he's fighting. Another level up for Bash. Man, that's awesome. Bash is already level 7. Wow, that's very impressive. Uh, but uh, I want to make sure that I take out all these other guys. And on top of that, we get rewarded with a bunch of XP. So that's awesome. All right, punch, buddy. You're going to miss me. And now I'm going to... Oh, yes! Destroy you and get rewarded with a whole bunch of coins. You'll never stop Master Chaos. He has an ingenious plan to get that Iron Fist of Arcus. Thanks for telling us the plan, by the way. Skylands. Then he can finally take me fishing. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, excellent. Nicely done by us there. We did a great job. Unlocked a whole bunch of goodies, as well as treasures and hats and all that good stuff. So let's continue forward as we head back to Captain Flynn's ship. And uh, I think we've got quite a bit of coins, so we're going to do some upgrading right now before we uh, finish off uh, this particular chapter and head off to the next one. There's our cool-looking ship, of course. It's all green and beautiful, and it's got some awesome components. So sorry, Ooh, look at Bash, looking like a sauce boss. For another way in, but we must have taken a wrong turn or something. We? You know, Callie, it takes two to get lost. 
One do actually get lost, and the other to notice. Anyway, we did find out where Chaos was going. A giant drilling rig way out in the middle of nowhere. He must plan on drilling down to the lost city of Arcus. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to that rig. All right, oh, Flynn is very right. enthusiastic. And uh, we're going to the rig, obviously, in just a sec. But before we do that, let's go get some upgrades. And then on the next episode, we'll continue to the next chapter, obviously. But before, again, as I mentioned, let's go get some upgrading done. Looks like Bash has got a lot of coins, so I really want to upgrade him. And he's level 7. That was awesome. Ready Two levels in one um, chapter. That's very good. Okay, so let's get ourselves upgraded. Uh, we can get our stone projection. Uh, we can't afford the Triceratops Honor Guard quite yet. So let's get the stone projection. And now we got to pick a pathway. Do we want to go after being a Granite Dragon or a Pulver Dragon? So uh, let's see. The, this one looks like it's focused on the tail attacks. And this one obviously focuses more on the rolling feature. Huh. I think I think I like the rolling attack. That's the thing. The rolling attack, I don't really use it as an attack. I use it more of a tool to defend and maneuver myself around. So, you know what? Let's focus on the Granite Dragon. Ba -ba Bam! Upgrade. Because that's really the kind of more the tool that we use as an offensive weapon, right? Oh, look at that. You can even switch paths. That's very cool. Okay. So, let's get our uh, stuff here. Mace of Destruction. We can't afford any of these yet. But at least we know what they cost, or at least relatively cost. Whoa, look at this thing, that looks so cool. Wow, pow, rolling thunder. While rolling, press B to launch into the air and slam down. Need summoning stone projection upgrade. Holy moly, this thing looks very cool. I can't wait to get that. That looks very, very neato. Okay, so we're done with this, guys. So let's get uh, Tree Rex up here, because I think now Tree Rex has uh, enough coins to get that elbow drop that we wanted for quite a while. So let's get that done. All right, let's talk to Persephone. Here we go. Get ourselves upgrading. There it is. We can afford, in fact, even the other one, which is light food. It charge longer and faster, doing more damage in the process. And we can even afford this, which is the ultimate stampede, which is Sequoia Stampede Attack does maximum damage. Huh. So which one it is that I want to get? Let's get this one. I think that that would be uh, most effective right now because we'll be doing much more damage, right? Let's see what it looks like, actually. Kind of kind of interested to see what it looks like. Let's see. Bam! Alright, so I guess this attack does a whole bunch more damage now. I guess we'll have to test that in battle. Uh, let's see, who else do we want to upgrade? Let's check... Uh, well, Crusher, I don't think he has enough. Uh, Pop Fizz... Maybe Pop Fizz has enough, because we did get some more coins with Pop Fizz. Let's see. We have 1,169 coins. So we can't afford any of these, but why don't we go check out the store? Maybe we could get ourselves some cool hat or something. That'd be kind of cool. We haven't done that in a while, so might as well. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We found a Luckatron wheel. I forgot to equip it. It's uh, the experience wheel, remember? In fact, there it is. What? Oh, we can't use it yet. Huh. Okay, so the wheel... I think that I actually want to... Well, let me read this one. This one is uh, for... Increases the chance to find food, which is very useful, and increases the chance to deal bonus damage. I think that I'm okay with that. We could switch it for the experience wheel. I don't mind that. That's very awesome. So there we go. We're done with that. So let's head upstairs to the store. Oh, look at that. That thing is shaking, and if you attack it enough, it pops some stuff out. At least it did last time. There we go. Some coins. Very cool. Alrighty. So we're going to head over here. Oh yeah, by the way, oh look at that, challenges again for us to do, which we will in just a moment. Well, I'll show you how to do those. Care to do a little shopping? Oh, certainly. That's Excellent. what I'm here for. Let's just see what items I have for you today. Alright, let's see what you got for me, buddy. Uh, so it looks like that uh, another charm. Here's some hats. We got a bowler hat, the happy birthday hat, which I promised to get in a, a while ago. So let's get that hat and let's actually equip it to pop fizz after uh, we got a bowler hat i'm not sure if i'm interested in that whoa look at that there's jawbreaker that's a very looking cool looking sky stone man damn i really want that you know what i'm just gonna get it i'm just gonna get it because it looks freaking awesome and i cannot give it up in fact 
Uh, let's play some Skystones to end the episode. That'd be kind of a cool little way to end the episode and try out our new Skystone. Our Jawbreaker Skystone, which looked very cool. Well, I don't think so. Most of the time, you're not a tougher opponent, actually. There he is. He's equipped, so we are going to be using him. All right, he's going to be playing a Droll Lancemaster, which I don't mind. He can play whatever the heck he wants. Um... I'm gonna play this though, Archean Jouster. Jouster. I didn't take over his unit, but I established my position right in the middle there, which is good, in my opinion. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, he would be so useful right now. What do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? Uh, let's take this actually with our armored chompy. We can kind of trap one of his units right in the corner there, which protects it for ourselves. He's gonna take our armored chompy. Huh. Okay, let's see what I want to do next. I can take his piece with this move. Uh, sure. Again, trapping one of the Mohawk units. You always want to kind of trap the corner units because those units, if they're surrounded at that point, they can't Mohawk be taken Cyclops. back. So it's a it's a great strategy, in my opinion, uh, to play that way. Look at this. We're going to take two Draw units right here. Well, bam, with our new, newly acquired... Uh, Jawbreaker, archer. and now he's gonna play a draw archer unsuccessfully, and we win in a dominant victory with six to three, twice as many units as he has. And let's see what we get rewarded with, with another Archean Jouster. Very cool, awesome. So now we got two of those. Okay, so as far as this uh, section right here, some people ask me how this works. Uh, so basically, what you have to do is you summon uh, the element that is shown to you. So we've got Cinder right here. So I'm just gonna play it out with you guys once. I got it all the way uh, leveled up because I was able to collect a whole bunch of coins from that thing. This gives you a bunch of jams. So it's very cool. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that we got armored up. Damn, look at Tree Rex. He looks like a sauce boss with those armor pieces on his shoulders and some leaves on his back. Okay, uh, was it water? No, it was uh, air, right? The next one. So we're going to summon Jet back. Hawk and Aw. Hawk and Aw to take care of that wall. Now it looks like we need the assistance of a fire Skylander, so we got Flame Slinger for that. There he is. I always forget if he's a guy or a girl. I think he's a guy. His voice sounds uh, like a guy, so I assume he's a guy or a male Skylander, I should say. Here we go. Slam Bam is gonna unlock the water door for us. Pop Fist is gonna take care of those magical doors. There we go. The motion of the potion. The motion of the potion. So you definitely need to have uh, one of each element if you're planning to take advantage of this. Uh, let's summon Drill Sergeant. There we go. And uh, there are basically jams inside. And the jams actually uh, get up in value as you go along. Uh, let's summon Bash to take down the last wall here. And uh, as the jams get uh, higher in terms of... Uh, as you basically unlock more of these doors, so at first you'll begin with just three doors, and then it's gonna add an element each and every single time. So, uh, let's say, sure, we could use Bash, whatever. Uh, you see right now the jams are valued at 80, but I think they started up with being valued only at, uh, I think it was what, 4... 4... 40, maybe? I think 40, not 30, I think it was 40. So, you slowly do get more and more rewards. But it definitely takes time. So you see right there, it's locked up again. So I can unlock it again. And again, uh, take advantage of that. Look at that. There's a discount fairy right there. I don't even know why I didn't notice her before. But she was just hanging out over there. A winged sapphire again for us to get rewarded with, which is great. And uh, you see, that's a uh, great way to boost your the amount of uh, coins that you've got right there very quickly. And in fact, I think we can even afford another upgrade. So we'll do that. I know I kind of been... Uh, saying that the episode is almost over but hey we've been getting a whole bunch of good upgrades and i give you uh, i guess some good tips and tricks uh, to take advantage of all right so it looks like we can actually afford some more goodies right now uh what do i want to get what do i want to get summoning stone uppercut stone projection does increase damage or the tail swipe does more damage okay i think for now we might as well get the mace of destruction and then later on we can get the other upgrade at some point down the line let the good times roll! Let the good times roll. 
Alrighty, guys. Well, there you have it. That concludes this episode of Skylanders Giants. An epic, epic adventure. We did great. We got a whole bunch of goodies, a whole bunch of upgrades for all of our Skylanders. Bash leveled up twice. Uh, we're doing really well overall setting up our Skylander army to take on Chaos. Uh, now we're going to be heading towards the Driller. Uh, the Driller X, I think, or Drill X. Uh, and um, that's where Chaos is. So that's where we are headed off. So make sure to check out the next episode, of course, if you guys enjoyed this chapter. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe, share the videos, favorite the videos, do the good stuff you guys always do. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Thanks for watching. You guys are freaking awesome, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.